So I want to share with you about mentorship and about how we train our assistants and how they go through the program. First, I want to say that in Georgia, you do not have to go to beauty school. So we hire both out of beauty school as well as train in-house through our protege program. So that's one thing that differentiates my business from a lot of businesses, but it is something that's super helpful for me. However, uh, we love and certainly hire many, many students that have gone through uh, a beauty re uh, school regime. The first thing that happens in my salon, when someone gets hired, they are maybe the newest kid on the block, but really to me, they are the one who is going to mentor the next hire. And what I mean by that is this. Say if Susie gets hired on October the 1st and Sally gets hired on October the 10th, then we've worked hard with Susie to train her on the things that she needs to know about right away. And she's been trained from the person only one step above of her. So ultimately what happens in our salon is that we teach the fundamentals, the, the, the very things that they need to know right away in the first seven days that they're in my organization. Then when a new hire comes in, they are to teach that exact thing that they learned within those seven days and, for, and so on. Why that's important in my business is that I always believe the teacher learns more than the student. So the more someone is having to mentor the person underneath them, the more accountability and responsibility that they have to do that certain task correctly. So they can't just sort of learn something kind of sort of half, you know what. They have to actually really focus in on the fundamentals of shampooing, how to mix colors, how to fold the towels, sweep the floor, restock the products. They have to learn those things that make them an asset to my organization right off the bat. The very last thing I ever teach anyone in our organization is cutting. I start with blow drying first, obviously just the fundamentals of shampooing, that goes without saying. Then we work on applying base colors. The next thing that we work on is, uh, of course, highlighting, both balayage, of course, my salon is 90% foil free, so balayage is something we put a lot of interest or, or input into. My goal is to get someone through that program uh, in under two years. I mean, that's the goal. But I also tell them that it really is up to the individual as to how fast they, they go through the program. But as they're going through this timeline and as they're becoming a floater on the floor and as they're being mentored by these other folks, along the way we are sending them to class every Friday morning. And that's really important that they go to class every week. Now granted, they also get a ton of training through my academy, through French cutting and, and through balayage, and they travel on the road and they do varying things that continue to help them with their technique, as well as me bringing in additional educational support through some of my preferred vendors who are out there that teach class for us. And then in that process, I begin to take that new protege or that new uh, that new assistant and I give them a day on the floor. I really don't believe in cutting somebody loose and throwing them into the boat or into the fire right off the bat. I think by doing so you're setting them up for disappointment and you're setting them up for a really big peak and then a really big fall. It's, it's too difficult for them to learn all the facets of providing incredible, incredible business. I mean, let's face it, we're asking them to pre-book. We're asking them to upsell. We're asking them to provide retail. We're asking them to provide a great experience and technical skill. Uh, we're asking them to dress nice. We're asking them to 
uh, to uh, promote and market themselves. You know, so there's a lot of things that go into building good business on the floor. So for me, what I make them do is I make them uh, yearn it and learn it. You know, so basically they need to yearn for it and they need to know what they need to learn from the mistakes in, in that process. And once they build that one day on the floor, then they get another, and then they get another, and then they get another. And pretty soon they've built themselves into a full five day work week. Um, and I really feel that what allows them to be the best possible uh, stylist in the end is the collaboration of letting them be an apprentice and a protege all while letting them be an associate stylist too and that gives them the ability to keep their lines open between their mentors and their mentees and learning through their guests and through their development so to recap Again, new hire is being mentored by the latest new hire. And they graduate to the protege program. And while they're in the protege program, we begin to let them have one day on the floor and again earning that second or that third day. And that's been a very successful um, way that we go about training our own. And the biggest thing that it helps me with is quality control. And if you're going to charge the kind of prices that we do based on where we're located, we need to have the advantage and we need to have the ability to do just that.